Emotion. Emotion is energy. Emotion. I would like for you to think what emotions do you experience in your day? It's fascinating when you think about how when you meet someone and you think, I really like this person, I've got good energy with them, you think, I could really hang out with them. Or on the other side of the coin, there could be those times when you meet someone and you think, yeah, I never need to see that person again in my life. <laughs> so I think we really need to think how amazing it is that in just a few moments, we can feel that energy. And what energy do we want to put out in the universe? And I want you to think about also your family or your home life. Let's say you've had a very stressful day at work. You come home and you've got anxiety in your heart. You come home, what is your spouse feeling or your significant other? Your animals, your children, what are they feeling? They can feel that negative energy and it can have a spiraling effect to affect you, your environment, and the people in it. So I would like to share with you one of my friends, he's a veterinarian, and he said to me, Serena, you would not believe how many dogs I treat for anxiety issues. He's like, it's crazy. And he told me, and then I meet the owners, and I realize it's a family affair. <laughs> and so then we got into this discussion about resilience and resilience training and how he would like to encourage his clients or his canines owners to do this and shift and reset after they've had a stressful day at home so that the animals don't have to be exposed to this negative energy in the home. And we've shown that with resilience training that you can shift your cortisol levels, which we know is our stress hormone. And so with the different emotions we carry, it can affect your physiology. And I would like to make a list of different positive or renewing emotions. And I'll start with appreciation. Would anybody else like to add a positive emotion? Gratitude. Gratitude, okay. Excited. Anyone? Excited, okay. Joy. Joy, okay, yeah, these are all very positive emotions. And on the other side of the spectrum, there's the negative or depleting emotions, such as worry. Grumpy. Fear. <laughs> yeah, fear. Yeah. Yeah, that's true. So there's all these different emotions that can affect our physiology. And we know that it can affect our memory, it can affect our immune system, and also our hormonal system. So I think this is just so fascinating, thinking of it from a physiological perspective. And then if you look at um, the emotion of fear, it can cause the release of what's called cortisol, our stress hormone. And with that, it can affect so many different systems in our body. And one of the main things that it can do is affect our sleep cycle. It can cause us to be needing to, you know, have shifts in our sleep cycle and not being able to fall asleep. So as a pharmacist, I dispense handfuls of sleeping medication to people. And unfortunately, people are becoming more and more addicted to medications and we're becoming dependent on them. And I feel like it's like the first thing that we go to is let's take a drug to fix things. And I feel like there's different modes of healing that we can introduce into our world because we need to put other tools in people's toolboxes in order to deal with the stress of life. And so with that said, there is also, if you look at the emotions of fear and the release of cortisol, you can look at these different exercises that you can do to help decrease those cortisol levels and to help you on your path with life. And the other thing that I would like to share with you is I want you to think about how you or what emotions you carry in your heart usually and how is that affecting your environment that you're in. And let's just say that you had a meeting and you're walking to your meeting, you run a little late, so you're slightly anxious. And most people when they're in this situation, they're not smiling at anybody who's walking by, nor are they being friendly. So I would also like you to think about the potential of, okay, you're walking toward your destination, you're running a little late, but people walk by and you smile at them, you say hello. And what is this doing to your environment? You're putting out positive things into this world. And which person would you rather be? And I would like you to just think about that and what kind of emotions you carry in your heart on a daily basis.
I would like to also share with you a story, a personal story, and how a very positive emotion and interaction had quite an incredible outcome to it. So about three years ago, I was on a flight and, um, from Zadar to Zagreb in Croatia. And I met this really nice gentleman. We had a great interaction and talked quite a bit on, the whole time on the flight. And when the flight ended, we said goodbye and exchanged emails and addresses. And I think we maybe emailed once after the flight. And that was it, never talked to him again. Well, a few weeks ago, I had signed up for this webinar and I was kind of searching through my email for the name of the company that's throwing the webinar. And I thought, this email came up from Ben, who was the one I met on the flight. I was like, oh my gosh, this is the company that Ben owns. And it's the guy from the flight in Croatia. And it's WBECS, which is World Business Executive um, Coach Summit. And so I decided, I'm just gonna email him. You never know. So I emailed him and I was so surprised. He emailed me back like within two hours and he was so nice. He's like, oh my gosh, how are you? Da, da. And he was so generous, he gave me an executive package, which is worth $550 to his summit. I thought, wow. And he also said, hey, Serena, I love marketing. Because I was telling him that I just started a business. He's like, I'd be so happy to help you and your business partner with your marketing. And I thought, what in the world? He's like, I'll be a little busy for a while. So, you know, I figure I'm going to reach out to him after his summit is over. And you never know what's going to happen in your world. And I feel like, you know, if you go out into this world with a positive, open heart, that other people can feel that. They can feel that energy. And you're bringing positiveness to our world. And I would like to encourage all of you to have a positive emotion in your heart. This room is filled with incredible people. And I know that you will do amazing things on a large or small scale, you will help us become a better world. And I wish for you positive emotions in your heart and an amazing journey in life.